Also, we're going to have a beautiful unveiling of the car. Um, and we're also going to have questions from you guys as well to answer. Uh, or the guys are going to answer that, the drivers and the team. So think about those questions, guys. Um, Moving on at the very end, there's a photo call opportunity as well. So I really want you to get involved in that at the very end of the close. That'd be great. But anyway, I think we should get proceedings underway. So please give a very, very warm welcome to BMW UK's Managing Director. It's Mr. Graham Grieve. So thank you, Paul, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming here today. It's a really exciting day for me personally. I'm a huge motorsport fan, and today marks the start of an exciting new chapter for BMW's involvement in the British Touring Car Championship. I think for me, it's probably the UK's most exciting championship, one that not only combines great competition on the track, but a lot of camaraderie in the pits and the paddock. So it's a unique combination of friendship and competition. Now, this year is particularly special for me because not only does it mark our 10th year with West Surrey Racing and with Dick Bennett, but it's also a year in which we've stepped up our degree of involvement with Team BMW. We'll be running three cars this year, BMW 1 Series, 125Is, and these cars are equipped with the latest generation of BMW efficient engines from our road going product, available in 1 and 3 Series, obviously with some modification to make them suitable for racing. So it really is a car that bears a very close resemblance to the cars that our customers drive. And I think with the team and the car and the driver lineup we hear about later, I hope not only to retain our winning championship position for manufacturer and team, but also win this year the driver's championship. So I don't set very high standards, but I'm pretty confident that this is going to be an amazing year for us. And it's particularly nice for us to be running yet again with West Surrey Racing. Thank you. Thank you very much, Graham. So, yeah, as you heard, this, is a, this launch is a continuation of a hugely successful partnership that's been going on for now a decade. So, to talk a bit more about that, please welcome the Managing Director of West Surrey Racing. It's Mr. Dick Bennett. Um, well, first of all, I'd like to thank BMW UK and Graham, Paul... Yvonne, Fiona and all the rest um, you know, at BMW UK because it is uh, a great moment for us. We have been running BMWs for 10 years and to now be move up to be a manufacturer team uh, with the One Series, it's fantastic. And also, um, the I'd also like to thank our loyal supporters we've had uh, on technical partnerships and some new ones we have on board. So it's, um, it's a great day. And also to, um, uh, as Graham mentioned, we are running for the first time a brand new BMW uh, latest technology B48 engine. And it's for those who love engineering, which is me, um, it's a fantastic opportunity to see this new product in, on a racetrack. Uh, so we're leaving that with um, our engine partner, Neil Brown Engineering, to develop that. And that should be running, as, as we speak now, there's um, one of our transporters on the way to Spain to do a, a five-day test. Um, we've got new Dunlop tyres for this year, so um, we're hoping to have some fine weather. You know, we've, over the years we've always stayed in the UK to test, but... We've sat in snow, we've sat in rain, we've sat, when it, we've sat when it's been two degrees. So this year we've given up and gone off to Europe. So we're away all next week. And um, the car we've got here is our third race car. And um, we're looking forward to um, getting them all on track. You can't wait to get things going then, Dick. No, no, we've, um, it's been a, a relatively long winter, but um, the guys back in the workshop have been very busy. We've not only installed a new engine, we've got some new aero developments. Uh, we have repackaged, um, again, some of the mechanical parts under the bonnet for hopefully more efficiency. Uh, we had a great year last year. We won the teams, we won the manufacturers, and we finished second in the drivers. But as Graham said, there's no pressure to, um, to win again this year, um, but also take the driver's title. 
And on that note, um, you know, I'd also like to welcome the drivers. Uh, Andrew's new on board this year, so welcome to the team, family. Uh, Rob is back for his ninth season. Uh, he's been driving a BMW consecutive. This will be his 10th year. And most of all then is welcoming Colin back, which is part of our family for many years. Started with us in 02. And between Rob and Colin, this will be their 19th season with us. So I think we must be doing something right with the BMW WSR um, connection. Well, sounds all good. I'm going to now, please, if we're going to get the, the highlight of the show underway, I'm going to welcome back on stage Graham Grief, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to see the highlight of the show, which is this beautiful car. I've been fortunate enough to see it myself on pictures. She's an absolute beauty, but this is one of the trio of BTCC BMW challenges that you'll see in the 2017 season. Ladies and gentlemen, let's watch with delight. This car is fantastic. Absolutely stunning, ladies and gentlemen. I'll just give you a, um, a few seconds just to take some pictures of the car. But absolutely beautiful. I'm sure you'll, uh, you'll agree with me on that. Real old school looking car for me. It looks absolutely stunning. It's going to be grand as it turns up at all the touring car tracks across the country. Gentlemen, thank you very much for that. And now what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have uh, the British Touring Car Series Director, a good friend of mine, Mr. Alan Gow, is going to... Come on stage, please. A round of applause, please, for Avon Gow. Um, thank you. And uh, on behalf of the British Touring Car Championship, welcome back to BMW. <clears throat> um, it's 1996 was the last time we saw those colours as a manufacturer entry into the, into the BTCC. And no matter how many times I've been trying to coax you and uh, get you on board, um, finally Graham saw the light. And, uh, and it's, it's, it's great testimony to, testament to not only the strength of the BTCC that 21 years later uh, they, they see the, the light in coming back as a manufacturer, but also to the relationship they have with Dick. Um, and it's, uh, it, it's, it's fabulous to see that their loyalty to BMW has been rewarded. They've got a great team, um, they've got great drivers, and obviously we've got a great championship. You know, we have a new... Five-year program starting this year with uh, with ITV and Dunlop and uh, our stable set of regulations that uh, that provide the great racing um, that we know and love. So, on behalf of the BTCC, this is a fantastic uh, uh, achievement for, for for West Surrey Racing. It's a great endorsement of our championship uh, from BMW. Thank you and welcome. Perfect. Thank you very much, Alan. <laughs> Super stuff. Okay, so we need to find out the other uh, cogs of this fantastic team. So we need to uh, get them involved, don't we? So I think now we should be welcoming on stage the Team BMW drivers for 2017. Please welcome Co Rob Collard, hopefully first. There we go. <laughs> Andrew Jordan, ladies and gentlemen, and Colin Turkington. Take a seat, boys. Excellent stuff, gentlemen. Um, I think we, uh, we have one more seat missing there, so we're going to get fully involved, and I'm now going to have Dick Bennett come back up to the stage because I know how much you love being on stage, Dick. So take a, take a seat there, would you? So, guys, have a think about the questions that you're going to ask our panel. Um, but first of all, I think I'll go back to you, Dick, and you did touch on it about the driver lineup. you know, what was the thinking behind the trio of, of guys you've got? Because let's be honest, that is one strong lineup. Yeah, it worries me a bit, actually. It's very strong. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we've, you know, to win the BTCC is never easy. It's a very, very competitive championship. So I thought one of the best ways to get, if we can get three of the best drivers out of 32 and the one team, then we're looking good. That'll make life easier for us. <laughs> I can see Colin smiling there, also the two boys here. Um, you know, what, what strengths do you see from these three gentlemen? 
Um, well, they're all very strong. We know uh, Rob's ability. Um, he's fantastic racer. Um, Andrew's already been 2013 champion, three times independent champion. So it's his first year in rear wheel drive. So hopefully the two other lads here will help him to find his feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think that sums up your 2017 season yeah. there. <laughs> and Cole knows the BMW very well and it's very pleased to have him back. And um, we're looking forward to a fantastic year. Yeah, that looks in cracking. The car looks fantastic. The drivers look well up for it. Um, I'm going to open the question up to the floor. Does anyone put the hand up and uh, get yourself involved with some questions, ladies and gentlemen, to the drivers? Don't be shy. We've got a live audience watching on YouTube. Has anyone got any questions? Any questions from anyone? Looks like I'm going to have to do the work for you then, isn't it? Is there any questions you want me to ask them but you don't want to ask? Oh, hello there. Would, could we pass this lady a microphone here? She's got a champagne glass in her hand. This could be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Paul. This one's to Rob. Um, I would just like to know, Rob, what do you think will be the major changes that you think Colin will feel getting back into this 2017 generation BMW 125i? I think, um, I think Colin will um, just be like putting back on a, a, a nice pair of shoes or a nice jacket. It'll come back to him. And uh, you know, Colin's a class driver, world-class racing driver. And you know, he knows the team, he knows the car, he knows the engineers, he knows all the circuits. You know, this is just deja vu for Colin, and um, I'm sure he's going to have a fantastic season. Thank you very much. Is there anyone else, ladies and gentlemen? Get involved with some questions. Come on, it's your chance now. Ask these guys, make them squirm, because that's what I'm going to do. Ah, Dylan, you're the, the tallest man alive. We'll just hand you a microphone, mate. Just watch your head. Uh, hello, guys. Um, I guess we could call you probably the dream team, but uh, just one question. Uh, last year, Rob, you won the most number of overtakes, uh, if I remember correctly. Who's going to take that slot this year? Well, Don, Dylan, that's a, a very good question. You know, it's, um, it was a fantastic opportunity to, to race a car last year and to be able to prove to everybody I can race and overtake as many cars as what I did and to win the forever forward Dunlop, um, you know, well, if it's not a championship, but an award was, was great. But to me, that means I've got to do a better job on a Saturday. So I'm going to be doing a lot better job on a Saturday. You know, I've got two of the strongest qualifiers on the grid as teammates. So my weakness will be really highlighted if I don't get myself sorted out. So um, I'm hoping that I don't win that, that, that award this year. Um, you know, I don't want these two guys to win it either. So it's going to be, hopefully, maybe the Hondas, maybe Shedden should win it. <laughs> Thank you, Dylan. Um, Rob, just following on from that, actually, are these the two strongest teammates you've ever had? Well, yes, they are very good. You know, they're, they're a lot younger than me, so um, I'm going to have to do my utmost to, to beat them. But uh, no, I've had some great teammates in the past, people like um, Stephen Kane, Johnny Adam, you know, Tom Onzo Cole, Sam Todoff. You know, at the end of the day, I'm here to do my job, mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter who sit next, sits next to me in the team. We work as a team, but I'm here to do my job. Yeah, that's the right way to go about it, isn't it? Fantastic. Is there anyone else? Put your hand up, please. Oh, fantastic. This gentleman here. Excellent. Thank this you. is a question for Andy. Um, over the years, we've talked about those pesky BMWs and their rear-wheel drive takeoff. Well, now you're in one. <laughs> I've always loved the BMWs off the line. <laughs> <laughs> what a great question. Andrew, elaborate, please. Well, actually, these days, it's how the championship works. The starts, rear-wheel drive versus front-wheel drive are actually very equal. So um, a few years ago, it used to be quite frustrating because they were very, very strong when Colin and Rob, and Rob's a very, very good starter. So I've been studying Rob's on board to see how I can get one of these off the line because it'll be a bit different to a, to a front-wheel drive car. But the regulations on, on the start line actually works very well. So the starts between front-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive are very equal. Interesting. Thank you very much. And we have a question here. Can we just have the microphone? Thank you. It's opened up now, isn't it? This one's from YouTube. Uh, to Andrew, you race a lot of old touring cars with Goodwood. What does the modern um, 120i most drive like? <sighs> I've got a little Austin A40. I'm not going to compare it to that. The, the historic cars are very good fun to drive, but the, the modern-day touring cars and the BMW's got huge grip, big slick tyres, so... You have to be much more precise in a, in a modern touring car compared to a historic car. I think if I drove this as sideways as I drive the historic cars, I'd probably be getting a bit of a telling off from Dick 
for excessive tyre usage. <laughs> Spot on. And just actually following on again, Andrew, I was speaking to some of the team, and they said you took to this car like a duck to water. And is that true, or are they just being nice? Yes, I think it is true. <laughs> yeah, I had um, three days in the car b b before Christmas, and I think it was important to do that because, yes, rear-wheel drive is new to me. I've done all of my touring car racing in, in front-wheel drive. And so I wanted to go into the Christmas break knowing what to expect, knowing what I needed to do differently and how I could adapt to it. But, yeah, I, it wasn't an issue. And, you know, I think probably the, I get asked that a lot. I think the biggest thing will be how the rear-wheel drive car reacts in, in terms of kind of car-to-car -car racing, and, and that I'll only know until I get stuck in at round one at Brands Hatch. But in terms of driving the car quickly, I think I'll be fine. Yeah, that's mega. And the racing should be, you know, it'd be a bit different, as you say, because you have to place the car differently, I suppose. Yeah, and I don't think there's really any way to practice that apart from, from round one in the championship and, and, and getting on with it. So, you know, I'm here. Yes, rear-wheel drive is new to me. It's a new team, but I've won the championship previously. I haven't forgotten how to do that. So along with these two guys, we're going to be work working very hard to do that and also to to obtain the Constructors' Championship again as well. Perfect. Sounds positive, doesn't it? Um Anyone else, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, hello there. Would you just pass the microphone along? This is going good. Are you going to ask Colin because he feels a bit left out? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll make it a question for the entire panel then. Um, obviously, we've mentioned the new parts on the car this year. We've got new Dunlop tyres. Colin, you're coming back to the car. Andrew, it's your first year in it. Where do you guys turn first for pre-season testing? Uh, our pre-season testing uh, kicks off actually uh, next week. Uh, we go to uh, a track out near Barcelona. In Spain, so um, you know that's the first opportunity for me to to get acclimatised with the with the one series BMW again, and uh, yeah, to, to kick things off. Uh, Dunlop have have a new tyre out for us this year. It's a, it's a bigger tyre, so that's going to slightly change the, uh, the the handling of of the car. So so we need to to get a, to grips with that, but also just the seat time. You know, we we haven't raced now from from Brands Hatch in October last year, so. Uh, it's good to get back in the car and uh, you know blow, blow, blow the cobwebs away and, and get down to work. Spot on. Ah, we got one at the back there. We just scratching your head, no problem. <laughs> anyone else like to get involved? We got any YouTube questions or we got anyone else that this is your chance now, ladies and gentlemen, get your questions in. Nothing else. Um, Dick, actually, I'll ask you a question. Uh, oh, we got one. Oh, perfect. Again from YouTube. Um from Clark Duffy, Colin, surely you have to go for the triple at Croft or Knock Hill this year? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take the triple at any, any and all uh, events this year. But, um, you know, for me personally, I'm uh, d delighted to be back. Um, you know, this, this fabulous combination of, of, of West Surrey and uh, team, team BMW, you know, I think it's, um, it's a dream for, for any driver to, to carry the iconic colours of, of BMW and to, to get an opportunity to do that in, uh, in British touring cars you know, is a huge honour. So, um, you know, I can't wait to get back in now and, and drive the car. And, uh, you know, I think we have all the ingredients here to, to really challenge from, from the off, um, you know, the experience of, of West Surrey Racing and, and the driver lineup and, and the developments through, through the winter. And uh, I think, um, you know, with, with, with the new engine, we have... This is the perfect tool at our disposal to, to really challenge for, for, for all titles this year. Perfect. Actually, I, I, we got another one. Perfect. If you want to just drop the microphone at the back there. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, I actually just wanted a, a quick message for Colin, just to ask you, is, is West Surrey Racing a team where you belong? Do you feel you've actually come home? Well, I, I have the keys to the front door, actually. Yeah, I thought so. so. <laughs> <laughs> Not but, but, yeah, um, completely. It's, um, it's a familiar environment uh, for, for me, Marcus, as you know. And, um, you know, my, my, my very first season in, in, in British Touring Cars was, was with Dick, Dick Bennett's. And, um, you know, this has been my, my, my training ground. I think this is going to be my, my, my tenth season. And... Um, you know, I shook the car down briefly uh, last week at, at Brands Hatch, and w when I saw the West Surrey Racing truck come driving in, uh, you know, I just I see family coming driving in in that truck. So it's uh, yeah, it's completely different to to going to any other race team, and you know, having that f familiarity and the confidence in the team, it's it's those um, tiny things, you know, that can give you the extra margin and and strive for success. Well, we all think you've come home, so. 
welcome. Oh, Thanks very much. Very nice, very nice. Um, just on that note, actually, Colin, um, did you say you had the keys to WSR? Because what were we talking about before? What nearly happened a while back? Yeah, well, what's in the past, maybe we should leave in the past. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, that was... Um, yeah, after uh, clinching the, the 2014 championship um, with with this exact car and and West Surrey at Brands Hatch on on the on the Monday morning, I very nearly burnt the building down, uh, put, putting myself on a, a bit of toast. <laughs> so uh, everything else at West Surrey is is meticulous and and, and works, but the one thing that doesn't work is the toaster; it doesn't pop. So uh, for anybody going in, you need to know that. Excellent. Thank you for clearing that up for us, Colin. Um, we've got another one from YouTube. Yes, this one's from Thomas Harrison Lord. Question for Dick. How do you manage three drivers who will all be fighting for victories? Must be stressful. He's dreading this question. <laughs> Very good question. And, yeah, um, looking forward to it. Uh, we are a team together, as this year we're entering as Team BMW. And I just hope the drivers remember when they're going wheel to wheel that it's a team together and that they work together, race together and they're friends together. Very well put, that, wasn't it? <laughs> Couldn't have put that any better. <laughs> Diplomatic. Um, actually, just a quick one for you, Andrew. Uh, I know your car colours have already been launched. Can you just cover that off for us? Because you've... Is it a different car? It's exactly the same car. Um, exactly the same support the team have... Exactly, exactly the same input. Pertec, my long-term sponsor, have been with me since 2005. Um, it's going to be BMW Pertec Racing, and, and that's something I'm hugely proud of. And that I've I've brought Pertec, who have been with me so long, and, and to, you know, without them, I wouldn't be racing. To then be in a BMW manufacturer-supported team is something I'm hugely proud of. So, yes, it's a different livery and it's a different team name, but we're all one team. And, and as Dick said, we're all sensible guys, and we're all, yes, we want to win win the championship we want to win races individually but we'll be sensible and we all we all are one team yes should give you your best chance really shouldn't it to be fair they've been long-standing partners absolutely and and you know from my point of view with the team i think rob's in his 10th year with west surrey and, and colin's going into his 10th season well, there's a reason why they're doing that and and i've been blown away by the attention to detail that dick leads with all of his guys and the engineers the amount of work they're putting in it is, is second to none and and generally every time i leave the workshop i I feel very at ease and very relaxed with the, the work they're putting in. Perfect. I'm sure you're in for a good year. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we've got some more questions. Is anyone else getting some good old cracking questions here? Is anyone else going to get involved? No. Okay. Um, actually, Rob, so we talk a bit about your son's racing. You've got two young sons who race. Ricky especially has still got a tie-up with BMW. He's going all right, isn't he? Yes, I'm um, very, very pl uh, proud to announce that Ricky's a, a, a BMW young driver for the second year now. Um, he's been away. He's just gone back from Bathurst in Australia um, for doing the 12-hour the there. Also, Dubai, 24-hour that he'd done. So he's got a very exciting year racing in the ADAC GT3 Championship in, in Europe. And um, little Jordan's going to be racing in the Junior Ginetta Championship. So it's, a, it's another very busy year for the Collard family. You know, and um, you know, racing is our, d our DNA. That's what we get up and live for every single day. And you know, to be now part of BMW again for another year with West Surrey Racing and Gardex, it's um, it's fantastic. You know, it's to, it's an absolute privilege, and especially now it's such a a, a big team having manufacturer backing from BMW is is it's so humbled. So for Ricky to be racing for BMW, for me to be racing for W. At B&W, it's going to be fantastic, and hopefully Jordan one day will follow in, our, in both our footsteps and uh, and become a B&W driver as well. Yeah, and do you think, Dick, that he might get kicked out of his seat by his son? Yeah. Well, I have mentioned that to Rob one night we're out for dinner, that um, <laughs> Ricky's 20, and I've forgotten how old Rob is. Um, <laughs> so, no, Ricky's um, in a good place at the moment, and I keep a close eye what he's doing, and he's impressing me, and... Yeah, he's runner-up in the Formula Ford Championship, runner-up in the F3. So everyone knows he's quick in a single-seater. But to get the opportunity to actually be an official BMW Motorsport Junior driver is very good for him. So it could lead to a good career um, in the future. And he is quick. I've, you know, I've watched his qualifying times and racing in Dubai, and I believe he set the fastest lap in a a brand new GT4 M4, so, you know, he's, he's a good young lad. And Jordan, I'm not sure yet. I just need to follow him a bit closer. <laughs> but if, as Rob said, if it's in the, the genes of the family, he'll be quick. 
Yeah, I'm sure they will. And the gentlemen, moving on, actually, you've both got kids. Can you see them maybe moving on and coming into touring cars, BMW drivers one day, maybe? Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I have, I have two boys as, as well, um, six and seven-year-olds, who are showing a real keen interest in in motorsport. They, they come to, uh, to to all my races they have done from, from they were a few months old, so... Uh, but I'm not sure if I can still be at, at a racetrack in another 20 years watching, watching my lads do it. So, uh, so we'll see. <laughs> Andrew? My little boy is obsessed with cars. And I don't know where he gets it from. Um, <laughs> there's part of me that would love him to be involved in racing. Then the other part of it means that I'd have to pay for it. So then I probably wouldn't be too keen on it. But you know, if he wants to go into racing, it's, it's a great sport. It's a huge passion of mine, of my family. So um, yeah, I'd secretly love him to. Perfect. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Um, anyone else got any questions while we were there? Nothing from YouTube? Are we? Yeah, we got one more from YouTube. YouTube's red hot at the minute. Yes. How do you think the wider tyres will suit the BMW this season? Who would like to answer that? Dick, would you like to put some engineering knowledge into that first? Hey, what's the mic back? Thank you. Um, yeah, we've had a quick run before Christmas with AJ at um, Donington and Silverstone, but one of the main reasons we're going to Spain is to... We've got a couple of sets of the new Dunlop Soft, a couple of sets of the new Dunlop Hard, and quite a few sets of the control tyre. And because it's a new tyre, we felt that if we stayed in the UK and tested because of the uh, variable weather, you know, Whereas in Spain, we believe next week is going to be 17 to 21 degrees uh, for the whole week uh, with sunshine. So we're hoping that will then translate across to when we get to Brands for the first round that the track and ambient temperatures will be similar. Mm -hmm. Although we have been to Brands when it's been snowing at the first round, so, you know... But we did get frustrated or have been frustrated every year by spend a lot of money going around all the UK tracks, um, but you don't do much meaningful testing. So by taking the decision to go to Spain um, for five days, um, hopefully will pay off because even though the Dunlop tyres, you know, they're black and round, there's quite an art to make a tyre work at its uh, optimum for performance. So... Hopefully we'll learn a lot out there. And staying with you, Dick, just a quick question on the engine as well. That's going to be a big step up, isn't it? And it's great to see that BMW have, have, have got in there and really helped out with that. Oh, I can't say it's too big a step up because um, Alan's in the room and you know <laughs> he, he'll slow us down if we're too quick. <laughs> he so, slipped me 20 quid to ask you that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, the regulations of the BTC are very tight, so we're hoping the new... B48, it's a modular engine, it's a fantastic little engine, it's smaller than the old engine we're running, it's more high tech, um, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's absolutely the latest technology coming from BMW and to be able to put that in a race car, we have to change a few things because of the rules but we're really looking forward to running that engine and um, hopefully uh, it'll uh, do a good job that, um, as I said, it, it, it can't be too good because we had a good engine last year. So very true. I, I have to be very careful what I say here. So. I completely forgot that Alan was here. Um, okay, ladies and gentlemen, have we got any other questions before we, before we finish up? Super. Well, thank you very much for coming along. It has been fantastic to see you all. And on behalf of BMW and WSR, thank you uh, for coming along. And also, please, can we have a bit of a round of applause, actually, for, for Graham Grieve, Dick Bennett, Alan Gow, also the drivers, Colin Turkins, and Andrew Jordan, and Rob Collard, please. So the team and the hosts will stay around, ladies and gentlemen, for a photo call at the very end here. But uh, as I say, BMW Parkland have been very good to us as well, hosting us all. So just a round of applause for those guys as well. Thank you. <laughs> and we will see you in the 2017 British Touring Car Championship. Thank you very much.
when it's been two degrees, so.